Hello, I'm Shirley and welcome to my channel. Um, today I thought I might just talk to you a little bit about one of my favourite plants that I've bought recently. Um, and that plant is this one, the Trade Scantia. I really like this plant, I think she's absolutely beautiful. She was quite small when I first bought her and it's not been that long ago. She's grown really quite fast. She's absolutely beautiful. She's the sort of plant that you might, when you see a small, you might just walk by, you know, and, and, and others will, you know, will catch your eye because they're bigger. Um, but I found that this one, she's got such a lovely colour. She's just so beautiful. And I'll just hold her up a little bit closer so that you can see her. She's really lovely. She has this beautiful, deep and bright <laughs> lilac-y sort of leaves um, under and through um, sort of a, a green cream leaf. So she's really lovely, uh, lovely oval leaves. And they're a little, they're a little fleshy. Um, it's almost like um, a succulent almost. Uh, I actually don't know whether she is of the succulent family, but I just thought she was wonderful. She's so lovely. And I do have two of them. I'll show you the other one in a minute. Um, they are vining plants. Um, trailing plants and um, you know this will drop down and she can get really quite big I was surprised I saw a photograph of one the other day and it was out here and the leaves were just cascading down it was just beautiful um, this is she this one is quite a strong one the other one that I have is a little bit more frail and you have to be a bit more careful as to not to break the little vines, the little um, shoots. And um, so you do have to be careful. Um, she originates from Madagascar and um, I believe that you can miss them and that they require um, a sort of 50-50% humidity. Um, she's been fine with me in my living room through the winter with the heat or even the fire going uh, and I found that she's been all right um, uh, but what happened was I, I think I might have said in another video um, I didn't keep her on the windowsill worrying that you know maybe the, the sunlight would be too much um, but then she she started to lose a color and it was imperceptible I didn't really notice it for a while um, and then I, I thought, oh my goodness, you know, maybe she does need some more sunlight. So I put her on the windowsill because it was the winter sun anyway, it wasn't that bright. Um, and I put her on the windowsill and I found within a few days there was definitely a difference. And now, I mean, just look at that lovely, lilac-y, beautiful, purpley colour. It's just so beautiful. I'll try and do a close-up for you. Um, you know, somewhere in a little box or something so you can see. So if you haven't got a trade scant here and you're looking for another plant, she would be an ideal plant for anyone. She's just so lovely. And she looks so fresh. She's got this kind of freshness about her. I think it's it's the colour of the of the lime and, and the lime, the cream and, and the lilac -y. And that's, it gives you this kind of almost tropical kind of feel to it. She's so lovely. So she's a vining plant and um, she does have short roots, apparently. And so you do have to keep doing the finger test like you do with all the plants, of course, but I would particularly keep an eye on this type of plant. And as soon as you feel that it's dry about an inch down, I would give her a little drop of water and just keep that going every other day or every couple of days. I mean, in the summer, definitely keep an eye on it. Don't drown her, please. But she does, she does definitely need a, a regular uh, drop of water uh, as opposed to other, other plants. Otherwise, they tend to go brown, leaved. They can even just drop their leaves. Um, 
you know, I've had a few experiences in the short time, but more likely with this one, which I'll show you this one as well. I'll just put this one down. I've had to raise them on a, a pot here because I can't find anything high enough. Oops, oh my gosh, I'll be falling down myself in a minute. This is my other one. Um, and she's a deeper purple and she's a lovely color too. But I've lost a few of her leaves and I've really, I've repotted a few of her leaves because you, you can propagate these. Um, she also becomes very bushy, very thick but and luscious, I mean luscious. But you do, this one in particular, the deeper one I find is more fragile for some reason, I don't know. Um, remembering that the roots are shallow so you do have to be careful if you knock them they will just sometimes they'll just break off but all is not lost they are very fast to propagate and all you have to do is um, cut the remaining bits that's left take off the last few leaves at the bottom up to about there pop her in some water and change her water every other day or whenever you think the water needs changing. Keep her in a um, very bright but indirect, and this is really important for these plants, very bright, not just bright, but very bright. The brightest you can, but it's got to be indirect uh, light because that will keep the colour going and it really does encourage their growth. And if you put the stem in the water and you leave it for a few days, probably a week or two at the most, you're going to see the roots. And when you've got the roots about an inch long or something, then you can just pop them back in to your same plant in a little spot that you find some soil around the, the rest of the, um, the little uh, vines and, and just push her in very, very gently, moisten that spot, keep that, an eye on that spot, not drying out over a, a week or two until she's got root and got back. And then you're thickening up the top all the time because what's happening is that when they first grow, they're quite bushy, but then they start to vine out and trail. And as they do that, so then the top starts to look a bit bare. So as they get too long and leggy, you can actually cut off, you know, three or four inches, do the same thing at the, not where the top leaves are, but the where the stem was cut or broken. Um, just make it a neat cut, uh, take off the bottom few leaves, leave a little bit of stem that long with your leaves on the top, and then just place them in water again and do the same thing. So what you're doing is it's constantly renewing itself and you are bushing up the top and then you're getting new trails, new trail vines, whatever they call them. And it gets thicker and thicker now. I've got a really long one here. I've wrapped it around for now just to show you um, the color and how, you know, how pretty that purple is. And then this purple is even deeper than the other one I showed you a few minutes ago. Um, I could hold them up together. It's a bit tricky, but I'll give you an idea. You see the difference? This one's a bit more pinker. This one's a bit more purpley. The leaves on this are a little deeper green, only slightly though. This one is much more sort of lighter. And so they're both beautiful plants and I keep them side by side on my window at the moment, which is a west facing window. So for the time being, I'm okay because we're at the end of, well, middle to the end of February uh, in England. So the light isn't too strong, but it's already starting to gain some sunlight here. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, it was beautiful today, but we had a wind, so that just whipped made us a little chilly but the the sunlight was wonderful so all of the plants are starting to get invigorated and and excitable i presume i think uh, you're excitable aren't you and um anyway um so they grow beautifully they grow leggy you cut off the bottom you put them in some water and you put them back in the soil now you can if you want to 
you can, rather than put them in water, you can put them directly in a little pot of soil, but you would have to dip the end into um, a hormone powder to give it a chance. Uh, and then just make a little well with a pencil, pop it in and just pat it around like that. I mean, I, I really should have given you a demonstration. Um, so I might do that one day when we have a propagating day. If I have some cuttings and things, I could try and do that for you. But for now, I'll just explain that it's a lovely plant, a beautiful plant to have. And um, I just thought I'd tell you about it. Um, and you can miss them. I wouldn't miss too much, but you can miss them. If you think that the air is a bit dry, you've had a hot day or, you know, you've had some radiators on or something like that. Um, but other than that, I think that um, they're an easy plant to take care of and they're fun because of this propagation element that is so easy and you just pop your new ones in and bush it up and you've got that beautiful, beautiful purple coming through as it gets the sunlight. So very bright but indirect sun for these plants. So I thought I'd just show you and tell you a little bit about my beautiful plants. Um, and I hope that you'll join me again another day when we talk about some other plants or something else in the house that I might be doing or changing. I've got some ideas of things I want to do, as I'm always telling you. Um, so for now, I'll say bye and see you again next time.